Hi, this is Life with Kathy, and um, I'm just going to talk to you today about going keto. I know, um, I don't know, last year sometime I tried to do uh, something because my daughter was going vegan, but anyway, I'm just going to let you know what's going on with me with going keto. Um, I'll show you the calendar and some things I bought, but anyway, why I'm doing it this way is because I don't have a camera, I don't do um, editing, so you know, this is just the way you get it, so anyway, it looks weird me looking at myself, but that's okay, you'll deal. Um, so I want to show you the dress I'm going to be wearing to a wedding and then some stuff, so you're going to be looking at other things instead of me looking at myself in the mirror. <laughs> so anyway, step number one. Uh, see, we had a real huge hip problem, and I don't know how it looks so much better now than it did. And yeah, don't mind all the junk behind me. This is a total work in progress. I just moved in with my mom, as you know, not long ago, and this bedroom really needs some help. But anyway, that's not the issue. So here we are this way, and I won't try to do this with one hand, but um, my waist like up here where you're smallest you know I'm a little teapot that's where you measure your waist um is it 38 I had no idea it was that bad so oh I hate that um anyway what brought this on was I knew I needed to do something and I'm not exactly sure where I saw this but um well, I could sit down so you won't have to look at my stomach constantly uh, but anyway, um, I don't know exactly why I thought about this, but I probably saw something online. Anyway, um, I looked up a website, and believe you me, I'm not getting any kickback from any of this. I really wish I was. Um, dietdoctor.com, and I found lots of videos and stuff. There's a lot of free stuff, but um, I, well, I went ahead and joined. So... Um, I could actually just keep watching and watching and watching until I learned this stuff. Um, going out to eat. This works out so much better than when you're trying to do vegan or anything else. Because when I live with my mom, we go to Cracker Barrel, we go to Bob Evans, we go to a local um, place that they sell, you know, cornbread beans and stuff like that. So it's so much easier, but you still have got to be careful because I ate uh, Cracker Barrel yesterday and I ate roast beef and then I get home and I looked it up and I clearly saw I looked up things that you can eat at Cracker Barrel and it wasn't on there and then I heard this lady say roast beef which is my favorite and I'm like oh my gosh I'm getting that well then I did and then I get home and I'm like oh that had 10 carbs so yeah that totally knocked out the rest of my carbs for the day so um anyway trying to get in enough fat that's really hard but anyway I want to talk about some sugars today because I am a sugar addict and trying to get off of that is really hard. Um, I got addicted to this awesome tea. My daughter, I love peach tea, and my brother, my daughter goes to Walmart and she says, Mama, no, you love peach tea, but this is um, pre-sweetened. Well, technically, it doesn't have any carbs, but if you can see in the ingredients, um, it has sucralose. So I thought I was going to have to get rid of all that. And I had recently just bought like five whole boxes of this stuff because I love it so much. And um, then I decided, you know what, if it doesn't cause my blood sugar to raise, that shouldn't be a problem. So I drank some yesterday after not having any for like a week. Oh my goodness. It was so sweet. It was crazy. I was like, whoa, that was that was nuts. But um anyway, also I people tell you that you can eat meat sticks. Well, dumb dummy me, do you see that it says teriyaki? That probably means there's some sugar in here. I was in a hurry at the grocery store. 18 grams of protein looks good to me. You keep looking down. Look at the nutrition facts that I, some people might go ahead and eat this, but it's got 10 carbs. But if you look down here, it clearly says brown sugar as the second ingredient. So some lucky person is going to get this. Probably my daughter. She loves them. Um, 
every time I would try to find a recipe, I needed something. So I ordered this. This is the, I think the diet doctor actually, and another doctor says this is probably the best um, if you want a sweetener. This one is the regular, um, regular sugar, but the first one I ordered from this company was powdered sugar. And then I was like, oh, that's not going to work. But, um, this stuff, uh, I haven't even, I haven't even opened the package. Literally, I just got that yesterday. And then I was trying to make bread, like bread, ice cream, brownies. That's my favorite things in the world other than, you know, fresh fruits and stuff. Um, but everybody, you needed this, this stuff to do your bread. So I ordered that. So I'm excited and I will make bread and show you all how that turns out because I'm not a bread maker. This is what I think is awesome. Like if I would decide to um, drink tea out somewhere, this is little packets. And I have tasted this sweetener at somebody's house like months ago. Now that's all I know is this one brand I have tasted. And this stuff literally tastes like sugar. I am not even joking. I would not lie about that because I am so picky with my sugar that, you know, it's not even funny. So, anyway, that is some products that I've bought. I've also got some, um, and, like, look, this is going to last a while. Like, see this? We shouldn't be consuming that much sugar anyway. So, this might have cost me, like, $10, but in the long run, it's so much better for you. And this silly husk powder, I'm, I'm not sure how much that costs. I should have had the prices. Um, but you can find them on Amazon. This shouldn't last. I mean, this should last me a long time, too. I mean, I'm just one person. My mom's not going to be eating this stuff. All right, so here's my messy calendar. And so, yeah, we won't let you see all the details. Um, but right here is the day I started. Uh, was it? I actually wrote on here. Where, let me get my glasses. Oh, I know. Yeah, day day one of keto it was the 11th. There we are. I weighed 195.8. And I just kind of scratched around like right here, writing down my carbs. And I don't, that's not 52. I have no idea what that, I guess it's 0.52. I don't know. That that was day number one of trying to figure out carbs. Um, but as you'll see, um, today is the 20th. I weighed 190, which that makes me down 5.21 pounds and a half. Uh, where are we? 34 more days till the wedding. So... I'm going to be taking uh, a picture every Saturday. So the next one will be National Korean War Veterans Armistice Day, the 27th. Because the wedding is bah, 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 the 24th of August. So this should be fun. Oh my gosh. Yes, okay. I didn't think I was taping. Hey, how do you like that? Isn't that pretty? Um, anything else? Uh, so, yeah. Um, I'm actually not exercising right now. I'm trying to be good since I was um, just starting out. They say you can get the keto flu, whatever. I walk the dog all the time. So, that's my exercise. And um, so, I'm going to hold off on trying to go hook gung-ho with exercise and today's supposed to be like the hottest day of the year anyway so I'm going to be pretty much inside I see something I need to work on my, my tan line there or just pin my dress one or the other um so anyway that's that's just me and some of the things I've been doing for the past week on keto I'll keep you updated I'll actually make recipes the first time and let you see you know did it turn out because I'm not really good at, at uh, making bread, so this should be fun. I need to get some parchment paper because they say it sticks. I can't think what they call it. It's cloud bread, I think I want to make. Um, but I'll make an ice cream today, so I will make a video of that. And I know my lighting is 
horrible in this room. And don't even look. You see that picture back there? I got that out of the attic, I think. But you, uh, do you see? Well, you can't see. Anyway, there is, do it that way. Hey, do you see that circle around that picture? That's where my mother had this huge thing with bows all over it. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of this, whatever state you're from or country, whoever watches these. Um, but when you get married and you're going through all your gifts you've taken, you put your bows, and then they put a, put a pretty bow at the bottom that hangs with some, you know, ribbon, and you hang it on your wall. My mother had that hanging up there for like, probably 15, 20 years, and I said, Mom, I'm, oh no, it was longer than that, it was like 26, I said, Mom, I'm divorced, it's going in the garbage can, and I didn't want it up there anyway, of course, this was my bedroom at her house, so whatever she wanted to do, but this is going to see some renovations, it's pitiful, so anyway, that's life with Kathy, you have any comments below, let me know anything about if, you know, you're on the keto journey, that'd be awesome to, um, talk to you or whatever um it's life with kathy at gmail.com or on instagram it's life with kathy so there it is just telling you how it is and what's going on and so you can follow me on this journey you might be interested you might not but i've tried everything so if you're one of those people to try everything and you failed all the time just see just see how uh, this works for me and it might work for you so have an awesome day and I'm going to look at the screen it's gonna look weird but I have to see where to press the button <laughs> so anyway uh, oh golly I'm shiny I actually just rinsed my face no moisturizer like oh uh. so what does um 55 look like this is what it looks like for some people so yeah I bleached my hair but I'm loving these roots so this is an interesting do I never thought I'd do so anyway that's life with Kathy